In our last video, we were talking about Sean Payton and Tom Brady possibly being a package deal to come to the Washington Commanders. This was something that Rex Ryan had mentioned in one of their shows the other day. And of course, that didn't come to fruition because about a day later, we hear that Sean Payton has now agreed to terms to become Denver Broncos' next head coach. So, no Sean Payton in, in Washington next year. I kind of saw that coming. I didn't see it coming that he was necessarily going to be in Denver, but I did not see Sean Payton coming to Washington. And as I pointed out in the video that I did yesterday, and you can watch that video, um, all the logistics surrounding the timing of when new ownership is supposed to take over and we're patiently waiting for the announcement of someone else buying the Washington Commanders, <clears throat> um, we would not be able to see a new coaching regime anyway. Uh, because, uh, no offense to Ron Rivera, but just, you know, if it was going to happen, it really could not happen this year regardless. Because, quite frankly, as I pointed out, there would not be time for a new re coaching regime to come in and get all their ducks squared away for free agency, for the draft, and all of that. Just, it would be impossible. You would have to roll with who you got, at least through this year, and then you can go and clean house at the end of the season or, you know, fire the head coach midway if the season's not going your way. But you can't do that right away it's just not going to happen but you know what this video is not about that this video is about more important things this video is about major tutty yes my friends i am doing a video on major tutty our new washington mascot and look at the fella i mean he is cute why am I doing a video on Major Tutty? Well, I'm doing a video on Major Tutty because I don't know why, but for some reason, he is controversial. Now, he's not controversial in the sense that he is you know, being derogatory or, or anything like that. Well, maybe he's being derogatory toward Bacon. And I love me some bacon, but um, and sausage too. But anyway, I you know, there are people out there, there are fans out there who just are hating on Major Tutty. I mean, at any chance that they get, they are cutting down Major Tutty, and I just I don't understand it. I mean, I know that there were there were fans out there who were really getting into arguments about why that our new mascot should have been a dog. And I get it that there are fans that want to to have a this clean slate away from everything that was Washington Redskins. And I guess because they didn't have that connection uh, to the glory years and so they want to have their own glory years. They want to they want to have their own stuff. Like they they don't they appreciate that all of us old geezers got to experience, you know, the 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 John Riggins era, the uh, the posse, you know, Mark Rippon, Doug Williams, Joe Gibbs, all of that, and you know, got to experience them hoisting the the Lombardi Trophy up in the air, but they don't want to ride on those coattails and so they want their own stuff they don't want anything that has anything to do with the past and i think when they looked at major tutty they're like what does the pig have to do with being a commander touche but what does a dog have to do well okay well you know the the Reasoning with the dog was, well, you have dogs that go in and, and you know, they, they kind of serve as soldiers. Um, they, they sniff out 
bombs. Uh, they sniff out the um, enemies and things like that. And I get that. I really do. But I think that there were fans, there were enough people who felt that there should be an ode back to the old regime because obviously I think there were enough people who were not happy with how things were, you know, with the commanders. Like, no one really liked the name commanders. <coughs> Excuse me. There's been enough people who have gotten used to the name commanders and it's only because it's grown on them enough to where they feel like this is going to be the name so I might as well get used to it but it is not necessarily it it wasn't anybody's first choice at all and because of that um yeah people just don't really like the name and uh so a lot of people liked red wolves and so I could have I could have understood the mascot being a wolf obviously but I felt that this was appropriate because number 1 a mascot is for kids it's not really for adults it's for kids it's to brighten the spirits of the kids the kids love getting their pictures taken with the mascot you know, the mascot brightens up the day, makes everybody happy, except for those who want to throw a pity party because they didn't like a pig. Um, but, you know, they also wanted something that would tie history in with the present. And I don't see anything wrong with that at all. I don't think that you totally wash away everything in history. <clears throat> because the same group of people who wanted to wipe everything away that was Washington Redskins, um, they even wanted to wipe away colors, right? Like, let's just do black. I, why? I mean, I, I like the burgundy and gold. I've always liked the burgundy and gold and, and white. But, you know, they, they wanted to get rid of it all. And, and I never understood that. I think that you you have to tie all that in. The point I was going to make is the same people who wanted to get rid of all of that wanted to hold on to the fact that we've won three Super Bowls. So whenever they get into an argument with an Eagles fan who, you know, of course their team's in the Super Bowl, but they want to say, hey, come talk to us when... You've won three Super Bowls. Well, wait a minute. You want to get rid of everything Washington Redskins, but you want to hold on to those championships. You can't have it both ways. And I think this is a good compromise. I think uh, I think Tuddy right here is a very good compromise, folks. If if you if you ask me, I I really like Major Tuddy, and it, it is funny because. Someone on Twitter asked, why is he not Commander Tuddy? I don't ask why he's Major Tuddy. And my response was, well, because it's, you know, Tuddy is slang for touchdown. And it's such a major event when we score a touchdown. Hence, Major Tuddy. <laughs> and they kind of laughed. They're like, yeah, good point. So anyway... Let me know in the comments section what you think. Um, you like Major Tuddy? You hate him? You want to pun him? You want to hug him? Hey, who knows? We we get new ownership. All that may change anyway. I, I have no idea. Hey, you stayed until the very end. Thank you so much. Watch another one right now.